Hello to all of you. Thank you very much for joining this presentation today, a webinar around our asset tree inside of Dynaway EAM for Business Central. So as you remember, we have assets and assets can be put in the hierarchy. How we are doing that? We need to fill one field, which is the parent number. And based on that, we can create an asset tree. So let's move to this view. And uh, this is what you will see uh, if you will uh, have all the assets in the hierarchy. Uh, hierarchy. Uh, this is my the top level of the tree. If I will go scroll down, then I can uh, uh, then I can uh, just uh, click uh, as always on the presentation. So give me a second. I will just refresh the uh, the tree. Let me open it one more time. Sorry for that. Okay. I hope now we will be able to do it without any issues. So uh, as I said, we have an asset tree, and if we will go as, uh, to this uh, icon, we can uh, see the asset in the hierarchy uh, view. As you can see, my planetary mixers, I have my planetary mixers, it contains transmission gear and motor gear. But I would like to show you uh, today a little more uh, about the tree. The first of all, you see that some of my assets has a, a nice icon, some of them doesn't have. And probably if you install uh, EAM, you will not see the icons. So how to get uh, the icons? That's the first thing which I would like to show you. So if we will go to asset uh, categories, Uh, we can see that uh, each uh, category, so for example, my UV lamps has some icon. So let's uh, choose also the icon for, for the planetary mixers. I can choose it or I, I can use the uh, uh, one which you uh, have, but I will just choose from uh, some uh, uh, icons which we have uh, delivered and you can, you can also choose uh, those icons. So let me choose, uh, let's say uh, this, uh, uh, this uh, icon. So uh, if I will go uh, to the tree, I will just open it one more time. Now you will see that my planetary mixers also have an icon. So that's the first thing which you uh, can do with the tree. But maybe you don't want to play with the icon. So on the asset, uh, uh, asset management setup, uh, management setup, we, you can find also the uh, option which is called dynamic asset category icons and if I will switch it on then instead of the icons I will see uh, the two letters uh, uh, two letters and this is the abbreviation of the uh, uh, asset category so UL means uh, uh, UV lamps and uh, CM for example uh, cleaning machines but uh, what you can do also is uh, decide which uh, uh, which um, uh, color is used. So let's go back to the asset categories. And this time I will need to go and do edit. And with that, I can choose from a few colors which are. So let's say I will just choose the red color for the background. And now if I will open the asset tree, you can see that I also have a red color uh, for my planetary mixers instead of a uh, black color. So that's one uh, thing which you can do. The second which uh, each user in fact can do is uh, show what wants to be, uh, what should be uh, shown on the uh, on the tree. So uh, if I will go to the uh, process and tree options, I will be able to decide what uh, part, what things I would like to see on my asset tree. So let's say I would like to see the plants, 
and some additional things with the plans. I also would like to see the, see the posted documents and also orders and order items, resource documents. Let's leave this part uh, for a second. So now if I will go to uh, my uh, tree, I will also see work order plans and I can go to the direct plan and you will see also the orders. And below that I will see the orders, uh, resources and so on. So everything what is on, the, uh, on this order. Also the uh, posted orders and so on. If you will not choose the plan, so if I will just go again to the tree, and I will just switch off the plan. I will still be able to see the posted uh, documents, uh, but uh, without uh, grouping to the, uh, to the plans. Let me go back to uh, also see the plans. So uh, if you will click, right click on the work order uh, asset tree, you also can see that we have a context menu and in this context menu, you can uh, see uh, the first option is open. And this works a little different uh, in the regards where you are. So if I will click open on my asset, then it will show me the asset card. But if I will open it on the work order plan list, it will show me the list of the work order plans, right? If I would like to see the exact work order plan, I would need to go to in the tree and see open and uh, click open on this exact plan. And then I will be moved to the exact, um, exact document. So that's also uh, useful if you want to see all the work order plans for the assets in one go or all uh, items uh, or documents and so on. And uh, as I mentioned, uh, this view is different for each uh, user. So as you can see, I'm using it as Martin Woods and uh, each user can have a different view and see different things on the asset tree. Okay, uh, next thing which I would like to show you is uh, two things which you can do uh, from here. You can create a work order, so you can create a one of work order directly, so uh, corrective maintenance. And then I can just put the description and put the category, click yes, and I would have a work order uh, created automatically for my uh, uh, for my asset. I don't need to do the planning and or from other places. And the second thing, you also can register a downtime from here. So if I will click here, I will see the uh, registration for the downtime. I can put the uh, duration of the downtime, also priority, a category code, and I can just register the downtime uh, if it's needed. And pretty much that's all what uh, you can uh, you can do with the tree. Um, but uh, I just would like to uh, also say a few other things related to this functionality. One that uh, we optimized it to, so and tested it that you can uh, use uh, uh, around uh, 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 two hundred thousand. Uh, records in this tree and it still will work uh, uh, properly and that's one thing and the second is that you can uh, um, you can uh, make it bigger and it will also make bigger view and that's because uh, you can use this tree also on your mobile devices so it will work exactly the same on the phone and exactly uh, the same as uh, on tablet okay I hope it was useful. Uh, I would just summarize what you can do with the uh, with the asset tree here. So you can first of all see all your assets in one uh, view. The second, you can use the context menu to create uh, one of work orders. Also, you can uh, create a, 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 an asset downtime. Uh, you can uh, put the assets in the hierarchy, and you can have the uh, icon. Uh, for the asset, but also you can have uh, uh, abbreviation of the uh, asset 
category instead of the icon. And remember, please, that all the uh, uh, users can uh, uh, can have different view for the uh, tree and uh, can see the work orders, can see the work order plans and the history, uh, asset and downtimes. Also, if you have our, our uh, different uh, module, which is called maintenance requests, you can also see open maintenance requests all from uh, one view.